Hello YouTube, so today I'll be talking about uh, the SSD in the MacBook Pro and if 256 gigs is sufficient for a MacBook Pro. So here I am running the MacBook Pro Retina with 256 gigs of solid state and I'll be discussing how I cope with all of the space and overall if I think it's worth surviving with only 251 gigs of flash storage. So, right off the bat, I'll say that it is worth it for the solid state performance. And also, since this is more than enough space, but of course, this will vary on usage. So, pretty much what I use this computer for is pretty much everything I do. So, I basically do a lot of programming using Unity. I made a lot of applications using it. I use Final Cut Pro for video editing. I use Photoshop. I use this for school. I do programming on Windows. I actually have Windows XP installed twice and Windows 7 over by Bootcamp. As you can see, I use Linux, Android, MS-DOS. I use Xcode. I have my whole almost 20 gigs of photos on here. I also have a variety of different games. As you can see here, Civilization, Minecraft. I have Test Drive Unlimited 2 installed on my bootcamp partition and I also have several games which I store on my external hard drive so in my opinion uh, this is a lot of space I have a couple of movies here I have my whole iTunes library over here it's a little bit messed up let me just organize this yeah and I find it's very culpable I mean it's best if you have an external hard drive in order to keep uh, the less frequently used applications there especially large movies etc but overall I, I see that I actually coped with it quite well um, I have bootcamp installed also and I also have almost 50 gigs of free storage right now uh, there's a couple of programs that I use to help preserve all of this space notably disk inventory X I have a video on my channel regarding that uh, program which pretty, pretty much analyzes your disk and shows you what takes up the most space what specific files applications etc on your Mac and uh, in terms of the drawback of not having space you can tell by the performance that pretty much everything launches instantly as you can see it's extremely fast and the battery usage is excellent because of the solid state there's no spinning components you pretty much cannot even hear the computer running it's just a very nice and pleasant experience. Uh, would I go for the 512 gig one? Certainly. You wouldn't have so many headaches for space. And personally, 128 gigs is not exactly enough, especially for my usage. Uh, and especially if you want to use Bootcamp for any serious work. Uh, virtualization, you can also host it over an external hard drive. But of course, it won't be that smooth. And virtualizing an operating system generally is significantly slower than running the operating system natively through your computer. Uh, as you can see here, this program is excellent. Uh, my Parallels Desktop Windows XP partition, running all of my programming software, including Visual Studio, etc., takes up most of my space along with Ubuntu. And also Xcode, Unity, Civilization, Final Cut Pro, iPhoto, iMovie probably blender and other applications also use up a lot of my space and a lot of uh... different applications like also documents sets etc suck up my space and an additional app that i commonly use to clear up space is actually um... disk doctor which is a very nice app and it really helps me save up on a lot of space as you can see application cache quickly clear up space next on oh, no, no, trash can clear the trash next clean and I just cleared up a lot of space alright so this is just my review of the 256 gig solid state on my computer I also have benchmarks the performance uh, on my channel and I hope you guys enjoyed this video